Uh, welcome to the diet carnivore diet. Eat like a cat. All right, eat like a pussy cat. Oh, she's a bit frisky, man. I'm a bit too loud, close to her ears. Baby. Eat like a cat. Carnivore diet, man. Eat like a cat. To smell like cat shit. Uh, it is crazy out there. Now, someone said, carnivore diet's best for weight loss because people are sedentary, so they shouldn't eat carbohydrates. So if you're really fatigued, be more fatigued and avoid carbohydrates even more. Here's the thing. People who are... Uh, it's not working. I was meant to look like a real expert trying to do this. Um, people who restrict carbohydrate, they just have not enough energy. That's All right, scary. we've got a tool for the job here. We've got the S-Works SLA. This has become a coat rack here. And they've got the addict. Disc for training, rim for racing. If you know, you know. All right. <laughs> I'm 47. And uh, I feel so freaking fit from years, years, decades, four decades of high sugar intake. I never ever restrict my sugar intake. Mm. Mandarin flavor, not a bad drop. Got these from the bin. There's about 30 of these chucked in the dumpster. They're from Mexico, beautiful bottle. Chucked in the bin. The amount of stuff we dumpster dive is amazing. We throw out so much food in the West, USA, or Europe, etc. Crazy. But yeah, restrict your carbohydrate to restrict the quality of your life. All right. A common thing I experience with women that I have liaisons with, they're like, you can fuck. You have stamina. And they often tell me, hey, just back up a bit. Like, you know, you definitely got a, a, a bit of a horse along there, cool. But your fitness is, I'm not used to that. All right. When you have high VO2 max, yeah, to get high VO2 max, you need sugar, all right? It's impossible to have high VO2 max without having a diet based on refined sugar. Impossible, if you know, you know. And so that's what women find attractive in me, you know, is energy. All right, guys, that's a big tip, all right? Once a woman lets you into her world and your energy comes in, then you become very, 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 very addictive for her because she has that masculine presence, that energy, and that is based on sugar, okay? I've had so many women over the years say, fuck, you can, I've never, ever, ever been fucked that hard before. All right. I'm like, well, carbohydrates. Oh, carbohydrates, I don't know, but Jamie Oliver said. I said, do you, I said, do you think Jamie Oliver can do what I just did then? Oh, I, I don't know, I, I don't think he could. <laughs> like, because Jamie Oliver fears sugar. But I could coach up Jamie Oliver, and he could, you know, he could uh, perform a lot better than he's performing now. Muscles, they run on sugar, okay? Your muscles run on sugar. The blood cells run on, everything in your body runs on sugar. If you want to perform like Jordan Peterson, or you want to, in, in a cardio match, or if you want to perform like Joe Rogan, can you imagine how fast could Joe Rogan run a mile? I mean, can, can Joe Rogan even run a mile? That's the question. It's not like, how fast could Joe run a mile? I can, you know, I'm 47, I can run a sub five minute mile, flat track, you know, road measured, all right? Not on the mobile phone dodgy data, like legit, at USTA F, uh, USATF certified track under five minutes any day of the year, okay? I'm almost 47. The average 18 year old is lucky to run a seven minute mile in 2024, eight minute mile even, all right? If I got racked up all the 18 year olds in the world and said, hey guys, how many can run an eight, eight minute mile? We wouldn't get many, would we? It's crazy how low the fitness is here in the West. It's primarily because we fear sugar, because we just, we get nutrition from guys like Jamie Oliver. Girls, if you want to look like Jamie Oliver in a bikini, listen to Jamie Oliver. If you want to look like Joe Rogan and have all this bloat, then listen, and have to do liposuction and starve yourself and to try and get lean, and then only then rebound out, then listen to Joe Rogan. But if you want to have mad cardio, mad energy, where girls are like, hey, come back. <laughs> come back tonight, you know? <laughs> if you know, you know, then that's carbs, bro. That's carbs. And it's the same for girls as well. Like if you want to have girls, to keep a guy in your life, it is more than just aesthetics and sex. Your vibe is very important. If you're hangry and moody, high quality guys like me, high top tier, you know, high valued guys like me, we're six foot, we're in six figures, we've got six inches, we have our own places, we can provide a lifestyle for you. We don't want to shut down with a girl who's moody and frumpy and blah, blah, blah. That's just like, it's a killjoy. It's a killjoy, all right? This is facts. So I see a lot of girls out there with great potential, but then they do just calories and calories out, or low carb stuff, or fear sugar, 
and their mood is just fucking so hard to be around. Once you calm as a guy, once you not, once you come, you come to your senses, and her mood, if it's down, you're like, oh, I want to bounce, I want to bounce. So when a girl signs up the calories in, calories out lifestyle, she signs up to pump and dump lifestyle, because that's what's going to happen to her, unfortunately, because her mood is going to be so flaky, and it's just going to be, a, it's going to be a killjoy, okay? Again, people aren't going to tell you this, and I'm here to help. I sound arrogant, I sound grandiose, I get it. But these are just facts. These are just facts. And you can disagree with me, but you're still going to be wrong, okay? Do the experiment. Eat unlimited sugar. Go vegan. Do my protocols. Never look back. Never fucking look back, you know? But the crazy thing is, some people do look back. Some people go back. I've seen girls get the fucking hottest physiques. Guys getting lean, slim, getting shit done. And then they just crack because of social expectations or family disapproval, and they go back to what they were doing. The acne comes back, the fat gut comes back, all the definition goes, the fitness tanks, they get broke again, or they just or they just get depressed again. It's not so what like you're going so good. And it's sustainable. Yeah, I know how I just but my mom, but my dad, but my boyfriend, but my girlfriend. I was like, well, come on man. And, then my, and, it, and it pains me to see that. And I don't understand why that happens. I don't understand how that happens, but it does happen. And I think some people out there are just born to lose. Is that what it is? I don't know. Or are they, or do we have to learn the lesson harder? I don't know, I don't know. But I've seen so many people fuck up their life because of chasing social approval or whatever. And it's, uh, it's baffling. It's absolutely baffling to me. I don't understand. I don't understand why someone wants to live life on hard mode. I think maybe it's like a deep conditioning of self-esteem where we're told we're not worthy and we play that again and again. That becomes our mantra. So then you start winning, you start doing my protocols and you're just fucking winning. But then your little voices come up in your head. I don't deserve this. I've this imposter syndrome, blah, 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 blah. And you start to sabotage shit. You start to skip carbohydrates, you start to fear sugar. And you just fucking become a beater. And it sucks. And I see it all the time. And you're probably, if you watch me long enough as well, you've seen it as well. And again, I'm not here to, to throw any shade at anyone. I genuinely want to help people. That's my highest con my highest value in life is contribution. If I'm not contributing, I feel like useless. It's crazy, man. Crazy that people want to go backwards, man. I'm the oldest I've ever been. I'm the fittest I've ever been. Uh, you know, I've got a little bit of knee niggle at the moment from uh, hitting something but in terms of if I was started training again I would be fucking cranking PR watts cranking PR 5k time uh, that'll come that'll come hopefully hopefully the, it's not too serious the little things look after your knees gang <laughs> look after your joints don't run into tables <laughs> anyway that's just the deal it's uh, the carnivore diet <clears throat> It's meant to be an impressive burp, and it was grand, uh, lacking. Carnivore diet. Don't eat carbohydrates. Carbs make you fat. It's that's just when someone says I'm doing carnivore or I reduce sugar. I just think, okay, you have turned on loser mode. And I, again, I'm saying this lovingly from the heart. My heart is my heart inside yet. <laughs> when I when I hear someone says oh, I measure my calories, sugar's bad. Calories in, calories out. Vegans not so good. I need more protein. Carnivore. What do you think about carnivore diet, Harley? Instantly, I think, again, with sincerity and compassion and desire to help, I just think, fuck, bro. Fuck, girl. You're just, you're living life on loser mode. You are just, just, you're just getting your phone and updating to loser mode. You're on winning path and you're going to go, I'm going to go loser mode. <laughs> and hey, it's, it's good to try, I guess. It's good to try loser mode for a while and see, uh, see what, how, how other people live. But I just see it, man. It's fucking crazy. Crazy. People sitting in cars, getting fatter. The, the amount of time I spend every day waiting for cars. Just people, I'm just like, come on, bro, let's fucking go. I, I, couldn't, I could not drive a car. I would be like, just hitting the horn the whole time. Come on, let's go. I, I can, that's why I don't have a driver's license. Because I would literally, I would lose my license on day one. Literally. So I'm like, why even bother? Why even bother doing the test, getting the paperwork? I'm going to lose it on day one. I'm too impatient. Let's go, let's go. 
right, I'm just, let's go. Let's get the trap, let's go, let's go. Forward motion. <laughs> last, last, last short. I'm not gonna be sitting in the car. Just sitting, sitting in the car, and then boom. Head on collision, you're dead. Just sitting in the lunchbox. Wasting time, wasting fuel. It's crazy. The bicycle is the safest mode of transport. The bicycle is the safest mode of transport. You can control your speed, all right? You can control your visibility. You can fucking be visible as fuck. You can control your exact route, okay? Oof, that's total control, okay? It's not perfect, nothing in life is perfect. Even if you want absolute security, go to prison. But even in prison, it could be dodgy, isn't it? So, it, it, it is just there. Yeah, but I guess I see people, man, and there's more and more cars on the road, there's more and more sugar phobia, and it just generates money, man. People are fatigued. You know, where's the carnivore cycles out there? <laughs> Fucking zero. Where's the low carb cycles out there? Zero. There's, there's, there's a couple of people claiming they are. And then you see people sending pictures of like, they're eating chocolate and brownies and like full sugar coke and shit. And it's like, okay, so you can't, well, yeah, cool, man. You know, bullshit. You know, you don't see that. You don't see that any lean, fucking high energy, genuinely fit people just fucking in ketosis. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's like fucking people out there. There's actually on Facebook and, and internet, there's unicorn clubs where people say, yeah, I saw a unicorn. I've got a unicorn in my backyard. You can't see it because my unicorn's special, but I've got a unicorn. You know, there's literally people out there who believe in fucking unicorns, man. There's people out there, there's naive fucks out there who think these carnival influences are actually just eating meat and stuff. <laughs> and not, some, you know, get some carbs in the other shit. And so what they do is these noobs out there, they follow that and they end up, you know, having a massive crash in their car because they just couldn't pay attention or whatever. They kill someone in their car and they just feel absolutely shit house. And they think, oh, but, you know, these people out there, like, you know, they're, they're doing a carnivore diet. Yeah. yeah they're breatharians exist, aren't they? Carnivore diet, people who claim they just eat meat, it's, it's like an extension of sociopathy of like breatharianism. Remember back in the day, like 10, 20 years ago, there was all these breatharians on the internet? I don't eat food at all. I don't eat food at all. You know, it's, I don't eat any carbs at all. I just eat meat. Yeah, fuck off, man. Fuck off. <laughs> so be careful what you believe out there. Uh, anyway, this is a rant. Doritos. Sugar loves your cortisol. If you're freaking out, grab a Doritos. Grab some fruit. Grab some sugar. Grab some lollies. Chuck it in your gob. Cortisol comes down. Life's sweet. Right? Life is meant to be sweet. Okay? Life's meant to be sweet. We're not carnivores, people. All right? We're not fucking carnivores. Imagine if I grabbed that cat before and chomped into it like a real carnivore would. What would you think of me? I would be in the Daily Mail. YouTube influencer, vegan bro, goes crazy, eats a cat on camera. You know? What if I eat... You know, no one cares about this. If I eat an orange on camera, a raw, live orange. <laughs> if, we, if we're designed to be carnivores, then why do you go to prison if you eat someone's fucking dog? Yet, in China or Korea, we fucking eat millions of dogs. But then again, in China, you could go to the market, buy a dog, cook it up, eat it. And then you can jump someone's fence, eat their Labrador, and go to prison. Like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't go to prison for jumping the fence and eating someone's oranges, do I? Okay? I go, I go to the shop, buy some oranges. It's just, this whole, is fucking no logic, man. Zero fucking logic. When someone says, carnivore diet, I just think, bro, living life on hard mode, living life on loser mode, level up, update your apps in your brain, get all the times, understand the Krebs cycle, glucose-derived ATP, Fucking hell, man. This, but it's, it's, it's getting crazy out there, man. The fucking the, the shit people believe. And you know what? All these fuckers out there who say, Gerard, you're wrong. They're all fucking fact, man. And again, I say it. I don't say it as a diss. I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like fucking dudes who don't pull pussy telling me how it is with chicks. It's like, dude, you're a fucking virgin, man. Right? That's, and that's fine. We're all virgins at some point, but... You're trying to tell me how, how women think and what they want? And you, you're like, dude, what's, what, where's your, what's your fucking body count, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, like, show us your hot girlfriends that you have for years and years and years. You know, consistently hot chicks. Boom, boom, boom. All right? So again, bragging. But I gotta brag because people are just like such in fucking la la land. Doritos, we're filming this today on the iPhone 16 Pro, by the way. I appreciate your viewership.